Hi, uh, welcome to this new video. We're still in the top office 365 apps video series. Uh, my name is Ayman Khattab, I'm a Microsoft MVP. Uh, I'm also the founder of several community initiatives, one of which is o365forall.com. So in the past videos, I've introduced you to Napa, showed you how to install Napa in your office 365 talent. Then we created our very first SharePoint app using Napa developer tools. In this video, I'm gonna export the SharePoint app to Visual Studio 2013 and continue working there. So let's see uh, this in action. So here's my developer site. I'm gonna click on build an app. This will take me to Napa developer tools. I'll choose my project, Hello World SP. And from the left menu, uh, I'm gonna click on Open in Visual Studio. And it's asking me about my language preference in case I decide later to add server side code. So in my case, I'll choose Visual C Sharp and click Continue. I'm now prompt to run this EXE. This will basically check whether I have Visual Studio installed along with the needed project templates for app development. If not, it will launch the Microsoft Web Platform Installer uh, to install all the required software. In my case, I already have Visual Studio installed. All the uh, Office app development add-ins uh, are already there, so it will directly download and open my project. Now it's opening my project in Visual Studio 2013. Now I need to log in using my Office 365 credentials. And this means that the open project or the exported project will already be set up for remote development and debugging. So when I exported the project from Napa, it understands that I'm developing for this specific developer site. I'll switch to the Solution Explorer and before we extend the project, please note here that here is our uh, URL, the site URL. And now let's add uh, or let's extend the project in Visual Studio. So I'm going to click on the project, click Add New Item and choose Menu Item. Uh, custom action, give it a name, let's say app launcher, and click add. Now it's asking me whether I want uh, this to be on the host web or on the app web. For me, host web is okay. And it's asking me about the scope of this custom action. In my case, for any list which is uh, an instance of uh, a custom list, I, I, I need this to be available. So I'm gonna click next, um, give it a name, or this is actually the text on the menu item, so let's say launch Napa app, and this custom action should take me to default.aspx. I'm gonna click finish, and here is my XML or my camel. It's worth mentioning here that uh, when you click or when you launch the app, the list item ID and the list ID can be passed uh, as a query string parameter, which means that uh, from within the app, you can use those for uh, any extra um, functionality. So I'm gonna click deploy. It's installing now the app on uh, SharePoint. Of course, this is happening remotely to my Office 365 site. So let's switch to Internet Explorer and go to the root web. I'm 
let's go to the site contents. Here's my Hello World SP app, and I've created a list here called Test. And if I open any of those items in the context menu, I'll find my new custom action. I'm gonna click on this, it will take me to the default.aspx page of the app. And this concludes our demo. Thank you for listening and see you in the next video.